Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're here in Carmel Valley, California for the national media event of a special grade of Tundra pickup truck that's never been seen before. This is it. This is the all new, first time ever, 2022 Toyota Tundra Capstone Edition. But before we get into this full-size luxury truck, let's talk about what's going on here. Toyota, doing the business for decades when it comes to reliability, dependability, durability. Now, the Tundra's been one of those sweethearts in their lineup that kind of went untouched for a very, very long time. But to be honest with you, the devoted following of fans of the Tundra loved, of course, the way they could rack on the millions of miles and just keep on trucking. Now, with this total redesign, which we already brought to you here on Rady's Rides, the plethora of different grade levels, Toyota decided to take it up and turn it up another notch with this capstone edition. So of course, this is gonna be going against those top trims from the American brand series of trucks, trucks like the F-150 Limited, the Ram 1500 Limited, and of course, the Chevy Silverado High Country. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna find out with first time driving experience. So this is gonna be first time driving impressions of us getting behind the wheel and getting out onto the beautiful roads here in California with the capstone. And now we also can tell you about price and mileage. So let's go ahead, let's dive into our 2022 Tundra Capstone Edition and find out, is it the king, the new king of luxury pickup trucks? Let's go ahead and dive in and find out. Right off the bat, the color, this wind chill, white pearlescent paint really sparkles like a beautiful diamond in the california sun of course when you're looking at lighting technology you're going to get your standard led headlights led turn signals daytime running lamps very aggressive and i like the way all the body pieces you know you look at a lot of trucks especially like the f-150 or the ram they kind of look like a traditional truck. This, the way that they interlock all the pieces of the headlight housing, the functional corner air curtains, really shows that unique style that I think is gonna separate not only the Tundra, but definitely this capstone from everybody else. Coming across the front, the capstone is meant to really kind of take your attention right off the bat. So just like on a TRD Pro, you got this massive blacked out grill, not so much on the capstone. You have these nice bright chrome style finishes, all horizontal forward facing camera. So you're getting that great technology out the front, out the back. It's got the digital rear view mirror, the Tundra name stamped in, and just the right amount of balance of class, style, and then of course, that raw aggression that says, hey, I'm in a truck. When you get up onto the hood, same story. You could see the sparkling like a diamond. And that's the thing is you look at a lot of the other brands, they have their usual pearlescent white paint. There's just something about wind chill that really shows the beautiful body lines and how everything is all locked in together. Now, as we come around the bend, of course, we're gonna get a different wheel and tire setup. And I'm glad that they went this route. They actually went with a dark chrome finish on the first ever 22 inch wheel from the Tundra. Now, if you compare this to the F-150 Limited, you compare this to the Ram, the Chevy, they also have 22 inch wheels, but this is the first time on the Tundra, no flat black to speak of and really showing that attention to detail. And that's what the capstone is all about. It's about attention to detail. Now, what's really gonna separate this from the other brands is standard is your iForce Max. So what does that mean? We got that twin turbo power plant, but the Max means hybrid. That's what the blue highlights in the name. So you're getting standard hybrid technology, which remember, if you go some of the other truck routes, you don't have that versatility with that fuel economy. Now, the one shiniest part of this capstone is gonna be the mirror cap. I don't mind it, it's not too much. Weight your turn singles, a little bit of gloss black. And then, of course, how they black out the A-pillar kind of just makes the truck not look so heavy from the top portion. And I think that's one of the things they really hit. There's two places, the A-pillar and definitely the way that they work the fenders really makes the truck not look so heavy and be very stylish. Now, of course, when it comes to technology, you're gonna get those electric dropping running boards, just enough trim to make things interesting. You know, you look at other brands, they go a little bit over the top with throwing so much trim. You got your chrome on your door handles and then working our way towards the rear, you could see just how the truck sits, has a wonderful presence. Coming to the back, you're gonna get your full LED lighting. And then with this one, remember, this is a pre-production. So some of the finishes, like for example, where it's gloss black here, this will be chrome on your particular 
Tundra, you have that wonderful release system. How did I do that? Real simple. You're actually just gonna hit the button right on the side here. That's really perfect for having your hands full. Hit the button and one thing you'll notice is that you're getting, as you come around the corner here, that ability to get into the bed of the truck, which is composite. You know, a lot of the other brands are still using aluminum, still using different types of metal. This is not gonna corrode, and this is gonna last the test of a lifetime. Nice, massive width. You got your power source, you got your LED lighting, and then the fact that it's got all the adjustabilities with your tie down locations that you just slide these back and forth, whichever way you wanna go to tie everything down makes it so simple. But you know what? This being a new power plant, let's pop the hood and talk numbers for our new capstone edition. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have hydraulic hood struts now. Yes, there's plenty of new things underneath the front end of the business. Of course, we got that multi-link rear suspension with that air ride leveling system, which is gonna make towing so much nicer as you're cruising down the road. But what are we looking at? You're looking at the end of the V8 era and the birth of the iForce Max. So we have underneath that very nice decorative cover a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 with that hybrid technology. So what are we looking at? If you're sad that there's no V8 growl, one thing that's definitely gonna turn that frown upside down is gonna be the power. 437 horsepower, 583 pound-feet of torque. It's mated to a new 10-speed automatic transmission. And since this is a hybrid, you're working with those that nickel metal hydride battery. You got the two-speed transfer case, when all the conditions are right, zero to 60 in about 5.7 seconds. Top speed is governed to 107 miles an hour. Here is the other big question. What about MPGs? So with our four x four capstone, you're looking at 19 in the city, 22 on the highway. Your payload is gonna be right about 1,480 pounds pounds with the capstone edition. You could tow up to 10,340 pounds. Yes, of course, maximum towing on the Tundras is 12,000 pounds, but they are gonna take into consideration the extra weight of the hybrid system. And this truck weighs around 6,000 pounds. So you're definitely seeing a huge improvement in torque and also in the MPGs compared to the outgoing V8. And then of course, that overall driving experience, believe it or not, the engineers really wanted this to behave like a diesel engine, but yet have that better technology and better drivability than a diesel engine. But while we go ahead, let's fire it up, hear what it sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside the all new Capstone Edition. We brought it to you first as a virtual unveil, and here we are in sunny California, for the official media event to get our hands on it. Now, I know you're saying, well, Joe, this trim looks fantastic. I guess the biggest part of the equation is price. So MSRP for the way that this one is optioned and pretty much it's fully loaded. That's what you would call the capstone trim because this is even above TRD Pro and the 1792 edition. So, how much is this one? You're looking at MSRP a little over $74,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. Now remember, this is a pre-production, so some of the finishes are gonna be different that you see, but you'll notice up top, I like the way they have the nice soft material, the white contrast stitching, and then unique to the capstone edition is gonna be the two-tone. So you're getting the white with the dark black, that's open pour walnut wood. That wood is so nice that it almost seems like they just chopped it down and put it inside this Tundra. You of course have the required Twinkie tray underneath that walnut wood. So once you're done touching the wood, you can get your Twinkie and chow down. You'll notice the speaker grill cover, nice silver finish. We have the JBL sound system, multi-speaker sound system, and that door pocket is massive. We've already showed it to you. You easily could get about five California style tacos and a couple bottles of uh, Fresca to wash it all down. Going from the door panel to the dash, you'll see the touches. The leather on the oh crap handle, there's that open pour wood. It's a little hard to see, or maybe a, real hard to see, but you'll notice that the capstone name is actually right there in that black trim. That's gonna illuminate all ambient blue lighting, including the, the name at night. There's that walnut wood, soft touch material, and then you'll notice how the stitching they left no stone unturned in this capstone. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there? 
check this out. Look what Toyota did here. This is that amazing 14-inch infotainment system. It's got all the goodies. We've already went through it, but one thing I really want to showcase is you go into all your history for the vehicle, really get all the readouts that you need, current and over time. And then, of course, I think the biggest thing is having the different profiles. You set it up for everybody in your family. That automatically brings all your presets, all the music from your iPhone, everything into the system. Because remember, this is a wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. Throw it into reverse. There's our backup camera. Super duper clearly. I could even count every stone in that stone wall behind us. The 360 cam. Put it back in the park and it's right there. You got your dual climate controls, heated seats, ventilated seats, of course, heated steering wheel. You got all of your toggle switches down below. You could raise and lower. You got your, for towing, your front view, 360 cam. Look at that, there we are sitting here at Carmel Valley Ranch. Of course, we're gonna have wireless charging. This is gonna control the 10 speed automatic, one zonk, and I wonder if the actual uh, production version will have white stitching. They should have done white stitching here, but you got that awesome walnut wood, Open it up, two cup holders, nice texture design so your drinks aren't gonna slip around. We have, of course, our mode selector switch, just like we have on our other Tundras that we showed you. The ability to get from two high to four high to four low. More of this leather. Now this is real semi anline leather straight from the LS500. So very, very nice soft material, the, the wood finish. You have lots of different compartments here. Put some Skittles in there. You could put your pistachios, of course, without the shells so you don't get shells over this beautiful interior. You got the pass through and then look, pick this up, USB-C, you got USBs and you got probably, you could put about $10 million in here. $10 million in 100, 100 grand bars, $100,000 grand bars, 100 grand bars in there. And then the seats, that soft leather, perforated, love the two-tone. And I'm so glad that they put the dark material where your butt's gonna be, because that's obviously gonna be a place that gets a lot of wear full electric assist for the passenger and the driver. We got this amazing panoramic sunroof. Remember, this is standard on the capstone. And of course, your digital rear view mirror to give you that bird's eye view as you're backing up. But why don't you come over to the business end? I wanna show you, get your, get your bow tie on, get your tie and your suit on. I wanna show you behind the leather wrapped steering wheel in our capstone edition. Hi right, guys, business time behind the wheel of this new capstone edition remember you're gonna have two memory seat settings you got your electric seats easy to get to remember pre-production so these finishes are going to be different i'm curious are they going to have a nice aluminum sill plate if they're not i'm going to zonk that because there should be a capstone aluminum sill plate we'll see if that makes production i'm six feet tall nice and comfy and you're immediately going to feel the difference between the western edition and this capstone edition steering wheel though nice leather stitch work is great even on the horn button itself power electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel and then you're going to have that massive 12.3 inch digital display super clear lots of different readouts you go through the modes look at the way it brings up the truck there really really nice to showcase all of that from normal to sport to sport plus and comfort and eco of course so you got all your modes first time on a Toyota Tundra, but why don't we go ahead, it's not just about the front seat passengers, let's get into the back seat and see what your passengers are gonna think about this capstone edition. All right guys, back seat time in the new Toyota Tundra capstone edition. Just like up front, in the rear, you're gonna get that wonderful leather interior, like I said, stripped from the Lexus LS500. This also has acoustic side glass, first time in a Tundra. The backs of the seats, super soft. You pull this open, you could easily put I would say probably about 22 Pop-Tarts in this back area for the long haul. You got your two cup holders, rear AC vents, heated and ventilated seats in the back, plus all your connectivity, USB-C, USB, and your home power source. Nice to get to. I am gonna zonk the vents though. It would be nice to also have AC vents in the pillars here, but you got your manual sunshades, plenty of headroom, how about the center armrest? Drop that down, nice and soft with the two cup holders. And of course, you're sitting on the battery. This is that nickel metal high drive battery for the hybrid system, but you know what? Why don't we go ahead, it's that time. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go on throttle in our new Capstone Tundra. All right, guys, we're in this first time ever, all new grade with a redesign of the Tundra. This is the Tundra 
capstone the 2022 i force max power and you're getting this top of the line interior and exterior features that's really just going to elevate the whole driving experience of this truck like we pointed out you see all the fine materials the nice contrast stitching of course the technology and i'm telling you the fact that they have the same leather as the lexus ls series of vehicles that really shows where they're putting their efforts with this capstone getting to like we showed you on other tundra reviews getting to that massive 14 inch infotainment system screen is easy peasy the digital display they really did their homework because they're showing enough information but not going too overboard with what they're showing on the digital gauge cluster and then the fact that this comes standard with the massive head-up display that 10 inch head-up display is also a welcome presence of that technology but even like we said the old crap handles the leather on the steering wheel the stitching everything has been done so nicely and the way that this iForce Max being a hybrid how you're not hearing the motor turn on and turn off it, it really shows the engineering that went behind this as we're driving slow leaving this location we're at it really has a great experience of providing the power providing the torque but also providing that efficiency all right guys we're going to get out onto the main road i'm actually going to come to a complete stop and we're going to go on throttle from a dead stop on throttle here we go yeah that twin turbo power plant with the hybrid assistance gets you off and running you see how smooth it is i like the sounds in the cabin and i'm telling you with this being the first ever tundra to have acoustic glass it provides a clean driving experience when it comes to that outside noise the leather interior is super comfortable and really a great vantage point as you're driving it allows you to be able to see clearly you got the panoramic sunroof and i think the thing you're going to really notice with this iforce max is that having that battery pack is actually going to improve the driving quality because it lowers the center of gravity lower center of gravity is going to allow this this new tundra to not only be more efficient than the previous tundra but also out handle it and then having all of the fine materials this is truly a truck that is going to show people that you want that versatility of a pickup truck but yet you also value kind of standing out from the rest of the pack and having those fine finishes the wind chill pearlescent white paint looks spectacular from behind the wheel and this steering wheel i'm telling you the leather is super super soft really the best materials to ever wind up in a toyota tundra All right, guys we're definitely gonna go on throttle again what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put it into that sport plus mode now like the way this tundra has those different driving modes i'm actually gonna come to a stop nobody behind us so we're okay here we go on throttle yeah <laughs> i love seeing the max gauge the iforce gauge with the boost and I'm telling you, that 10-speed automatic transmission shifts like a hot knife through butter. And that really is just going to help with the flexibility of this vehicle, especially the capstone edition. Being able to tailor the interior to this premium level just like the way you want it, but also being able to tailor the driving experience when it comes to your different modes. And then, of course, you have the towing capability. More torque, more storage. I tell you, really, Toyota did their homework to make sure that they have a trim, a grade level for everybody with this new Tundra. But as we're driving, super smooth. And that's another thing, those 22 inch wheels, if you're like, oh God, that ride is probably gonna be hard as a rock, not at all very smooth 
especially going through these nice country back roads here in Carmel Valley, California. Nice steering feedback and great throttle sensitivity. Really did their homework with making sure those different modes have a unique experience. So when you turn the knob, it shows up on the dash. We could go into sport, we could go back to normal. How about comfort? Because this vehicle is definitely about luxurious comfort. Really nice and smooth. It shows how it adjusts the dampers all four corners, the whole shabam. So hopefully this gave you a wonderful overall feel of what the capstone brings, especially when you put it up against the big boys from Ford with the F-150 Limited, obviously the top dogs from Ram with the Ram 1500 Limited, and then of course the Silverado High Country. Let me know how you're feeling so far about this capstone, but we're gonna get back to where it all started and wrap it up, so I'll see you in a split second. It's been one heck of a day here in Carmel Valley, California. Definitely wanna thank the whole Toyota team for getting us access to this new Capstone Edition. Let me know what you think. Has Toyota done enough to make this that top special truck in the very competitive full-size truck segment? I'm dying to find out what you have to say about it. I know the Toyota people here wanna read those comments as well, but until we meet another day, if you're on your way out and you're new to the channel, Hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rides merch. Got to give it up to the queen of the camera. Working her best out in these tough environmental conditions with the sun and the shadows and the people and everything else. Show Lori some love in that comment section. Thank you, Lori, for doing an awesome job. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.